Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this update video, we want to take a look at the Cardano price and the Bitcoin price. Before we start, let's take a look at one more potential reason why this drop could have happened. What we can clearly see is that um, we've got two significant peaks here on the chart, which shows us ADA addresses with a balance greater than 1 million native units. So that is basically here on the right hand side. You can see um, starting here at 3,200 addresses with a balance greater than 1 million units going up to 4,000. So let's say between the period of 27th of July and um, 25th of August, we had an increase of um, roughly 300 wallet addresses that were then holding more than 100 million a uh, 1 million ADA coins and that suddenly dropped and that did drop before the price decrease okay so you can now come to the conclusion some people knew the price was going to drop yeah um, now I don't know but these are just 300 addresses that um, led to that pump clearly yeah in price and these addresses then contributed significantly because it basically preempted that price decrease they sold off and then you had a decrease so these addresses then didn't hold any more um more than 100, 1 million ada yeah so it just shows the quantity of addresses holding more than 1 million ada you still at the moment have 3.2 um, well 3200 addresses that are holding more than 1 million ada by the way it's a nice value to have but clearly there was a in my opinion, unnatural increase of these addresses. And they then um, dumped ADA on the 1st of September um, bet or between, between the 25th and the 1st of September, being careful not to drop the price too quickly. Honestly, you can clearly see that. Being careful not to drop the price too quickly. And then when they all had sold off, the price dropped. So it's a bit crazy. You can come to your own conclusion, in my opinion. It was not necessarily natural i don't think that these were stake pools necessarily because we still have the same percentage of ada staked in stake pools that really hasn't changed over the last few weeks and months so this might have been ada coins that weren't staked at all were just dropped just sold um and yeah that contributed to that price decrease and what is striking to me that these were sold before the price decreased okay so some people knew um again that is just what the market is like the same thing happened here in february um before that first peak or before the merry hard fork you could see these guys accumulating and then the price dropped oh no then they sold off and just a day afterwards the price dropped okay but that recovered then now that could happen again we could see another recovery here yeah that would be nice it could be a huge wave one huge wave second huge wave that could happen i think that will still happen anyway because we have we're getting into um alonso times isn't it um so alonso hard fork is coming but before we start um with that, that on the 12th let's take a look at the price unfortunately again um just a very brief look at the bitcoin price because we talked yesterday about that and i you know I, i'll show it on the hourly chart you can see it better um on the hourly chart if i make that bigger i need to make the indicators a bit smaller guys one second so if i zoom out a little bit we can see that purple rectangle i did say yesterday that we were in that uh, it's called a rectangle pattern really or a channel you can call it doesn't matter some people might even refer to it as a bear flag um so we had that rectangle where you were trading within a range now i did say it's more likely to break out to the downside after my video we did that i did say we are probably going to retest that and we did we failed however and um, dropping now further away retesting again it doesn't you know we made a lower low um it doesn't seem that likely that we're going to break in anymore because you can't really see that green volume just looking at price action alone you can see that the green candles the closer we were getting back into this triangle the green candles were getting smaller 
and now we're trading just below this uh, this rectangle so in my opinion we are now going to trade between the 44,000, which i gave you as target yesterday which we also reached and that potential range here at 45,500. if we get back in that'll be a more bullish scenario however as it seems currently we are pushing even the donchian channel that lower band of the donchian channel further down that will probably be another drop to the downside now getting to 44,000. Why do I think that? Well, let's take a look at some of the indicators. Now the RSI is still making, um, you know, on, on the way to the downside below 50. We still see a downtrend on the hourly here with the ADX showing a trend and a downtrend because that red DI line is, is above the green line. Now the MACD is looking a bit better at the moment, but the, the, the MACD line is still below zero. So it's all not looking too good. And looking at price action alone, we've making lower lows now. And we've even traded below that low here at 45,000. So, you know, holding the 44 now, if we break the 44, which to be honest, doesn't show too unlikely to me, we'll get to, in my opinion, 42,500. Um, I just don't see the, I just don't see the green, you know, the green volume, the green massive candles that we need to see. If you take that into context, you see a huge red candle here, and then you don't really see those strong green candles anymore. You don't see them at the moment, not strong enough to get the price up to make sure that we get, um, you know, sort of a real bullish sign for me would to get, would to be to break above the upside of that rectangle here. So that would be at 47,500. But at the moment, you know, for example, if we're talking about a potential trade, you could, for example, and again, no financial advice, but you could enter a short trade here. If you see that we see a rejection here um, from 45,500. Yeah, and you would need to go to a probably shorter time frame. As soon as we see a rejection here, um, and it doesn't seem that we are going to break in, but as soon as there is another rejection and the price starting to go lower, could enter a short trade and um, first target is 44,000, but we could also break through the 42,500. So let's take a look at the Cardano price. Yesterday, if you've been following me, you can see, or you remember that we were trading in the symmetrical triangle. I did say a breakout is gonna happen. We then broke to the downside. Um, and then when we did the later update video here, we said, there's more likely to go down as well, looking at the indicators and the price target I gave you was um, 220. Yes, we found support here to 30 in the end, which is good. 230, by the way, is the close of a all time high um, earlier this year, the daily candle close 230. Now, what we can see is that we are starting to form a more bullish structure, at least here on the hourly. That's, in, that's nice, that indicates just looking at the pattern alone, that we could drop to the um, that we could um, get to the upside because here what we can see now that tr the sellers struggle to bring the price further down, so the buyers are stepping in, and the high we're making higher lows. That's all that ascending triangle indicates. Yeah, at least here we're making higher lows, and um, also from there to here we're making a higher low, so that is good. Yeah, so actually uh, it's not looking as bad as with Bitcoin. So we are still technically looking at the indicators. We're still technically on the hourly at least doing a downtrend move, but watch the 243 level because it's a horizontal, um, horizontal resistance line and we are making higher lows at the moment. That is a good indicator to be on the short term at least, get above 243. But let's take a look at the four hour chart because the four hour is more meaningful than the hourly chart. And what can we see here on the four hour chart? Well, we can see on the four hour that we are, yes, also making attempts, of course, to break above that level again. However, we have strong rejections here on the four hour chart. You can see those, um, those higher shadows here. Yeah. Where we are really getting rejected from that line. So really need to be a bit careful. We did push that Donchian channel down. We are now at this resistance level, which is at the same time that middle line of the Donchian channel. If you remember what we said is when the Donchian channel, when the price breaks into the Donchian channel, two touches, 
some traders will get into the trade. So they would have entered the trade potentially here, would still stay in the trend until that Donchian channel middle line is broken to the upside. We are just about there yet. So we need to watch that level closely. That's when some people would exit their trade, their short trade. Um, and that middle line is currently on the four hour chart. And it always depends on which um, time frame you're trading. It's currently sitting at 241. That's why we're currently probably also facing a little bit of a rejection here. Now, if we fail, we'll probably get back down to, as I said, in the first instance, 230 and then 240. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's not looking too good anyway. Um, we are clearly on our way um, down here in a shorter term downtrend at the moment. I think people are just waiting the next couple of days what's going to happen. Don't expect much movement um, at the moment. And it's it's really hard to say. Nobody really can nobody can answer. I've, I've read lots of news articles about what's happening on the twelfth. The the thing is nobody knows. I think you know the as as the price dropped now before the twelfth. I think it's quite good. Increases the chances that the price after the twelfth will go up. Anyway, because demand of for ADA coins also to carry out transactions and to pay for transactions is going to go up. So we could some, see something similar, hopefully like with Solana, that when the traffic increases and um, more people are using the network, that then the value of the ADA coins is going to go up. Now, I don't think that will immediately happen on the 12th. If it does, happy days, um, but it will probably pick up a few days afterwards or a few weeks after that. And again, just because we have a short term downtrend here, doesn't mean we're entering a bear market or anything. Um, that happened last time in, that happened last time in, um, sorry, in uh, last September as well. And what makes me, um, what makes me a bit more bullish now, and I just said that, that we seem to make, you know, higher lows here, just in a very short term, but also from here to here. And that was a strong, that was strong support by the buyers down here at 220. Um, that was really strong support here, where we then moved up and even made a, a higher low here compared to that one. Yes, we dropped again, but we're now making another higher low here. So it could be, I just need to be careful, it could be that we are really on our way to recovery here. And let's see, I think, as I said, Cardano chart, in my opinion, is looking better than the Bitcoin chart. And for me, that's no surprise given that on the 12th, we are seeing something big coming. All right, hopefully you appreciate the update. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you wanna follow me on this crypto journey, please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.